Well, I'm going to talk about, my, my name is Joe Brancato, I'm a water pollution biologist with Pennsylvania DEP, and um, we're in the Porcupine Creek drainage, which is about an 11 square mile drainage basin. Uh, this basin is designated as exceptional value by the department, and what I mean by that is uh, it has the aquatic life and water quality uh, that only that less than five percent of our streams in Pennsylvania um, can match. So there's 86,000 miles of streams in Pennsylvania. Less than 5,000 miles of them are designated by the department as exceptional value. <clears throat> this this watershed is also considered a uh, Class A wild trout stream. So what that means is there's enough natural reproducing fish in this stream that the Fish Commission doesn't have to stock fish, they don't have to repopulate it, it has enough fish for fishermen to go and have a, a good recreational experience and uh, you know the fishery is, is good enough to sustain itself. Uh, one of the extremely unique things about this watershed that's unlike any other watershed in Pennsylvania is that it has all three species of fish uh, that occur in Pennsylvania and they all reproduce. It has our native brook trout, it has wild reproducing brown trout, and something that's extremely unique in Pennsylvania, it, is, it has wild reproducing rainbow trout. Uh, so over about 20 miles of stream in, uh, in this watershed, out of only less than 40 miles in the entire state have wild reproducing rainbow trout. Okay, so this is the longest continuous stretch of wild rainbow reproducing area in Pennsylvania. Uh, so what so what this does all these culverts before they couldn't fish could not move between from this area upstream so when fish are reproducing in the um, in the fall uh, you know they couldn't get anywhere past here and a lot of times fish will move upstream to reproduce in the fall and uh, so this all these culverts opened up another four miles of the of the already 20 miles of stream where wild reproducing trout live. Uh, so that's a huge, you know, with less than 40 miles of wild reproducing rainbow uh, fisheries in Pennsylvania, that's a huge um, boost. And uh, a, another thing, it, it, it left a lot of areas for after the reproduction and the fish hatch, these, these young a year fish will, will live in these smaller areas so they won't get eaten by larger trout. So it really creates a lot more refuge area for these wild reproducing streams, <clears throat> and uh, I just want to just want to say that I actually did my when I was a graduate student at Clare University, twenty many twenty seven years ago. I did my graduate research on this entire watershed, which included the Hemlock Creek watershed, which Porcupine Creek drains into. And uh, at the time, the land was owned by President Oil Company, but. Uh, it was being sold and the Western Pennsylvania Conservancy had bought this land and uh, with the intent to turn it over to the Pennsylvania Game Commission and everything, something happened and it never never got done but at the time it was Endeavor Lumber Company which bought the land and the agreement from what I understand was that it was going to be open to public hunting and fishing uh, for the public forever. Is that, am I correct on that? Uh, yeah. In, yeah. In perpet it was, so it's it's all this land, even though it's all private, uh, it's open to public hunting and fishing um, in perpetuity. So uh, there's still um, a conservation easement with the WPC. Okay, so we have a, a conservation easement with the Western Pennsylvania Conservancy. So I mean, it's really a unique partnership. And you know, when I was surveying these streams 25, 30 years ago, and even today, these streams are still holding their own as a testament. You know, to Chagrin Land Limited's, um, you know, to their environmental stewardship. I mean, this, the stream is as good as or better than it was, you know, during their entire ownership of this property. So. Red Horse Environmental, and he is uh, the, the lead designer. I think it was <laughs> How we got here today? I'm 
Sloan Ironford, Sprout on the mid-chapter. Uh, they're 